In this video we will show you how to fix your Galaxy Note 20 with fingerprint scanner issues. The Note 20 has the same ultrasonic fingerprint scanner that's being used in Galaxy S10 and S20 models. It's not the fastest fingerprint sensor in the market but there have been quite a few complaints about it so it works almost perfectly. Some of our readers encountered an issue or two but majority of the cases were pretty minor. If you also have issues with your phone's fingerprint scanner, here's what you should do. First try pressing a little harder. Had the fingerprint sensor been working properly prior to this problem then perhaps the issue is just due to the way you get your prints scanned. Ultrasonic fingerprint sensors are a bit slow compared to optical and capacitive scanners. That's the reason why you have to give it a little more time to scan your finger before lifting it and then try pressing on the screen a little harder. You may also try to reposition your finger as it can be due to positioning that you're having this problem. Second, clean your phone's screen. Smudges on the screen may affect how the fingerprint sensor scans your finger. It's easy to see if the screen is dirty or not and if it is, then get a dry clean cloth and wipe the display gently until the smudges are gone. You may use a little alcohol to make the screen a little cleaner. After doing this lock your Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and then try unlocking it using your fingerprint. If this doesn't fix the issue then try the next solutions. Third, remove the screen protector. A third-party screen protector may also cause an issue like this so if the fingerprint sensor started to have issues after putting on a new screen protector then it's best to just remove as it's clearly the one causing the issue. Make sure to use Samsung approved protectors so that the responsiveness of the touch screen won't be affected and that your fingerprints will be scanned properly. Next, create new fingerprints. When registering fingerprints you must make sure you're doing it right because even if it's successful but not done properly the fingerprint sensor may not be able to verify your fingerprint. If you already have this issue, then it's best to delete the prints that don't work and just register new ones. To delete fingerprints, launch settings. Find and tap biometrics and security tap fingerprints and enter your screen lock. Tap the fingerprint you want deleted and tap remove. After deleting your fingerprints, tap add fingerprint and carefully follow on screen instructions. Once you're done doing this, lock your phone then double tap the screen to display fingerprint scanner properly. After doing so, place your finger properly over the fingerprint sensor and allow a second or two before lifting it up. Most of the time this procedure will fix such an issue, however if the new fingerprint can't still unlock your phone then try the next solution. Lastly, factory reset your Galaxy Note 20. After making sure that the display isn't dirty removing the screen protector and creating a new fingerprint and the issue continues then you have no other choice but to reset your device. This will tell you if the problem is with the sensor, display or totally firmware related. Prior to the reset take a little time creating a backup of your important files and data that are saved on your device as they will be deleted. After the reset and your device is still not able to unlock using your fingerprints then seek assistance from the Samsung tech as it's probably a hardware issue. We hope that this guide has been helpful. Please support us by clicking like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more troubleshooting videos. Thanks for watching.